Hey, what's up guys? Chad here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about breathing and give you three breathing exercises uh, that I've learned that have helped me tremendously. So I first have to say that breathing is probably the most overlooked thing when it comes to our health and performance, but it's also, in my opinion, the thing that is the foundation for all of the things. If you're breathing better, you're going to perform better, you're going to be less anxious, uh, and it impacts your health just tremendously. So again, three breathing exercises I'm going to show you. They're all different. And uh, we're going to start on the floor with something called belly breathing. So one of the issues uh, with many of us is that we breathe very much, very shallow, very, very anxious, right? And it contributes to blood pressure issues. Uh, it affects our nervous system. It impacts our digestive system. Um, so the intention of belly breathing is to get you to breathe more from your, your diaphragm and your stomach. So we're going to lay down in this position and I'll demonstrate. But the way it works is the first third, the first two thirds of your inhalation should come through your stomach here. And the last third of your inhalation is through your chest. And when you exhale, it goes in the opposite direction. So you're going to go down for the first third of the exhalation from your chest and the last two thirds of your exhalation through the stomach here. So I'll demonstrate. And again, you see here, first two thirds, next third, exhaling, First third from the chest, last two thirds from the stomach, and that's belly breathing. And the idea really is to kind of get out of the way uh, of your breathing too, to not force it too much. Uh, your body has its own intelligence in terms of how much air it wants to get. So really think about relaxing your feet, relaxing your legs, relaxing your face is very important. Really think about relaxing the forehead and the temples and all that. Let your body get the right amount of air. I find that belly breathing is extremely effective for improving digestion uh, simply because you're, you're allowing air and blood to pull in that stomach area. And you might even hear your stomach kind of make some noises while you're doing that. But uh, something I do quite often in the middle of the day after I eat and often after my workouts to get myself in a very calm state. So <clears throat> that's belly breathing. Next one I want to show you is called box breathing. And this is something I learned from Navy SEALs. So Navy SEALs are awesome at keeping their bodies in very calm states, especially when they have to go into very hostile situations. Uh, so for instance, when they're on a plane about to parachute out, they will often do some box breathing to help get themselves in that calm state. So the way that box breathing works is you've got four different sections of your breath. So you have an inhalation part and then a hold part and then an exhalation part and then an exhalation hold part. So think of it that way. And you, you can start just by holding your breath. Each one of those times, each one of those parts you hold or do for an equal amount of time. So we can just start for three seconds and I'll come and de demonstrate what this looks like. But again, this one works better, I think, in an upright position. You're going to inhale for three seconds. Hold for three seconds. Exhale for three seconds. Hold for three seconds. You can do it with me. So that's box breathing. And again, I'm just using my hand to kind of help you visualize what's happening. When you're doing this, you can just relax. But uh, again, box breathing is something I find that is super helpful for anxiety. I often do that uh, box breathing before I give a speech, before I give a talk or anything. It's so good for uh, stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system. Really, the, I can't say that enough, is that breathing in general helps calm the nervous system. And when you calm the nervous system, all the other systems like the hormonal system 
and digestive system naturally uh, fall into place. So that's box breathing. Uh, next one I'm going to show you is, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's like third breathing, breathing in thirds. It's a version, uh, it's a part of a meditation, a kundalini yoga meditation that I've been doing called Breaking the Mask, which is a much more in-depth meditation. I won't go into details on that. But the way that this, this breathing exercise works is you're going to inhale for a third of your breath and hold for a period of time. Then you inhale up to two thirds of your breath, your inhalation capacity, hold for that same period of time, and then inhale all the way as much as you can and hold for that same amount of time and you exhale. So we'll demonstrate and we'll hold for three seconds. So. So that's that. So with the box breathing and the, the that third breath, uh, Kundalini Yoga meditation, you can progress it by increasing the time. So in box breathing, let's say you, you're inhaling for five seconds, you know, holding for five seconds, exhaling for five seconds, and then holding again for five seconds. You can progress that by going to seven seconds and then nine seconds and then 10 seconds. With the Kundalini uh, third breathing, you can you know, hold for three seconds, three seconds, three seconds, and then you can hold for five, 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 and progress up to seven, 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 even up to 20 seconds where you're inhaling, holding for 20 seconds, inhaling the next two thirds, holding for 20 seconds, inhaling all the way, holding for 20 seconds. Uh, last thing I want to mention when it comes to holding the breath is that you don't want to uh, close your throat. So I, I would highly suggest you don't, you know, really put too much pressure um, in your head and close your throat. So really keep your, your throat open when you're holding your breath. And you might feel a little air come in and out and that's okay. Um, but just work on keeping your throat open so you don't uh, increase your blood pressure. But I have to say, I mean, just, just from a practitioner standpoint, I've, I've done some things where I've I've taken someone's blood pressure and it's been in the red area. So like, let's say 170 over 110, which is like a red flag, call the hospital immediately. And I won't tell them this because they will panic and, and their blood pressure will actually get worse. But I'll just calmly go into a breathing exercise and we'll work on that for five to 10 minutes. And then I'll check their blood pressure again and it'll be back down to uh, normal limits like 120 over 80 just because of breathing so no medication involved so it's really important to that I, that I want to get clear is that your breathing uh, and your perception radically impacts everything else in your body it's very much in your control we just have to practice it and you can practice for you know two minutes a day you can practice five minutes a day you can even uh, you know 45 minutes a day or throughout the day the point is just to br bring awareness to your breathing, really breathe consciously, because one conscious breath can radically change the entire system. So anyway, I hope that helped you. I hope you're uh, inspired to try some of th these things out and uh, let me know how it goes. Okay, ciao.